Good morning, everybody. It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to the guide. Today, friends, ooh, I got another banger of an episode in store for you. Today is the day we embark on our very first mining journey and talk what you might have been doing wrong the whole time. We'll organize, we'll talk world seed, and a little bit more too. Now, before we embark on our very first ultimate journey today, there are a couple things we need to get done over here at, at home sweet home. Today, I want to try something a little bit different for this series. We got a like goal. That like goal is a mere 7,000 likes for good luck. With the help of you, my friend, we will smash, annihilate, decimate that goal. So thank you in advance. Truly wouldn't have been able to do it without you. And thank you for all your feedback on episode lengths in the last episode. Now, thing number two. Uh, speaking of the last episode, we built this humble little starter cabin. I'm kind of in love with it. Uh, but if we move inside, and it's pretty plain, dusty, and a little bit boring. Hey. Not dusty, not dusty. I keep it clean. Don't worry. Inside of the house is empty. Even worse, inside of the inventory. Oh, oh, oh. Inside of the inventory, it's cluttered. It's messy. How do you expect me to become pure profit king? Looking like this. Humble crafting trio, great one. I come to you with a tribute. The tribute, a simple, a single birch door. You see, we need to progress this world. Then in the pursuit of progression, you can have that door. You keep it forever because this chest, well, this chest is mine. It's a very sentimental one. The first chest of the world. And the ultimate tip of early game, I'm not... <sighs> I wanted to place it down and never break it. I, I don't think that's going to work. Here's a clip of me placing the chest down for the very first time inside of my Minecraft world. For the ultimate early game trick, a basic piece of advice here, make a chest and place it down. Otherwise, your inventory is going to go crazy. But depending on your financial situation, if you're a little bit better off, and maybe don't make just one chest, but instead make two chests or even, yes, yes, even make three Minecraft chests. And perfect timing. Would you look at that? Here we have another day gone, which means red bed, my friend. We don't need to have you under the stars. It's true that under the stars, a red bed is a little bit more romantic. But it's also true that I haven't found a love interest in this series yet, so we put it inside of the house. Three is the golden number. For now, we begin this world with three simple chests. This chest is going to be like the sentimental chest with like very special pickaxe, maybe sentimental sword, you know, things like that. This chest is going to be the building chest with this door that I found on the ground. Then over here, we're going to go ahead and do like, I, I guess like plant things and maybe like food things and also maybe like mob drops as well. With the inventory in tip top shape like this, I, I think we can embark. Our first Minecraft mining expedition. Let's do this. In the modern era of Minecraft, if you know where to look, early game mining is like the easiest thing you can do. 100% safe too. You see, ever since the stunning part two of the Caves and Cliffs update, Minecraft worlds got a whole lot deeper, but also at the same time, they got a whole lot taller. Look, I hate to break it to you, but nowadays, if a single soul tells you to go find a cave, your nearest one and go into it and mine the iron inside of that, they're lying to you. They're trying to get you taken from this world and probably take your iron in the process. It's 2023, baby, and we're Minecraft gods, which means we need to find one of three different locations. Now, location number one, conveniently enough, I've actually already found it. Look at that beautiful thing over there, Sky Tower. We know exactly where we could head if we wanted to. Because I'm an empathic, considerate king, I'm going to give you a couple different locations you could do your first mining at inside of your world. Location number one, depending on your seed, is a shattered savanna biome. The shattered savanna biome is absolutely insane. Very inspiring to build an early game. And I mean, look at that thing. All over this thing. We got iron, 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 and a little bit of coal too. Because of where ore actually generates nowadays, and because these biomes are like all stone exposed, it's going to be so easy to mine here. And uh, I, I manifested this. I, I did this to us, and I'm sorry. The very first rain shower of the world. I was just thinking before the episode, I swear. Why hasn't it rained inside of this world quite yet? And, well, here it is. It's raining now. And I don't even have a bed. <laughs> While we set out on our expedition today in search of other lands, I like to set a couple goals. In episode one, we were looking for something desperately and I just couldn't find it anywhere. I would like to today, I would like to today find that thing. Oh my gosh, you're telling me it's been sitting right here the whole time? I was scouring that whole forest and, and you've just literally been sitting right here smiling at me, waiting for me, like right down the, the river from home. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? It's just too easy for me. I had to check the difficulty. Wow. Maybe I'm just that good. Sweet berries. 
<laughs> That's amazing. Well, I was going to say I was looking for sweet berries in episode one. Couldn't find them. But uh, considering they're so close to home, I'll just come back for them. I'll remember this. Continuing back on our small expedition food hunting time lapse here, I like to talk about something we talked about in episode one. No offense, but you guys need to step it up. In episode number one, I kicked off a game between me and you. You gotta guess the world scene. Right now, I'm winning. Nobody's guessed. In honor of helping you guys out a little bit, I give you one more hint. The world scene is a four letter word that begins with the letter D. That's right, that's right. I said a four letter word that begins with the letter D. If I see the correct scene, I will reveal it next episode. So here we are, continuing our expedition a little bit farther than the river. It looks like I found a tiger biome and I found a forest biome. It's pretty cool. To be honest, I have no clue where I'm headed, but I did find a little bit of copper. We haven't picked any copper up quite yet. We don't really need any. But I mean, I'll take it. Why not? Early game of Minecraft, when you're looking for any ores, of course, if you find large patches of stone that are relatively safe looking like this right here, it's a great idea to stop and look. But more specifically, we're looking for some biomes. A shattered savanna biome is beautiful. If you have a world seed that spawns you right next to an ocean, another option would be a stony shore biome. Cutting over to a random world, then inside of that place, a random stony shore biome. Look at this thing. It's covered in ore. Everything you need is right here. And stone too. A stony shore biome is absolutely clutch, but there is one more place that we could find that would be a little bit more clutch. Now our timing right here is kind of impeccable. Right here is where we halt our journey and make brand new bed number two, drop it down, and roll it back over today. So continuing our journey right here, it looks like I'm starting to stumble on something potentially well. Well, potentially here's something absolutely amazing. If I know my Minecraft terrain, it kind of is like a little bit sensical nowadays. We got flat low area and then slowly things start to get a little bit more hilly. When they start to get a little bit more hilly, if you're really lucky, they will get hilly and stay like hilly really really hilly hey 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 hold up a minute hold up just one minute should we try our luck ah i i feel like we should try our luck it seems my friends that we have stumbled on our first random structure a story from the past and inside of the story from the past if we're very very lucky or please be lucky we have a map okay and in the paper okay Gotta be careful here, we cannot drown, absolutely not, but okay, well maybe, inside of chest number two, that I saw. Ooh, I see you in there. Hold on, friend, I'm coming for you. I'm coming right for you, after I get a little bit more H2O, we get a little bit more air, we go back under the ground, it's happening. Armor trim is right here. Armor trim? I hate it, I'm miserable, you've ruined my day. Armor trim, we had our very first option to get sweet armor trim, and this is what you give me, you give me tons of iron. It's beautiful, with our goal of two stacks of iron today. Hey, yeah, 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 I didn't say it, but by the end of the episode, we have a goal of two stacks of iron, and coal too. It will help us on our goal, but there's a reason sad violin music is playing, and that's because we could've found a trim. We lost it all. Anyways. Anyways, here, carry on with our expedition into the unknown today. It looks like I found a stony shore bio. We go ahead and put my tips to the test right away. I saw coal over there. There's copper right there. More copper right there. We move around a little bit more coal. Oh, it's beautiful. We had flint over there. We have a little bit more coal. Yeah, uh, you, you see what I'm talking about. I'm not really seeing any iron over here quite yet, but uh, yeah, you get the point. You see what I'm talking about. It's pure profit all day long. And so, my friends, after just a tiny bit of mining, we now are at level 10 and even better. <laughs> We're over halfway to our cold goal for the episode. 64 and 90 more. Oh, it's beautiful. We didn't even reach the target place yet. Oh, yeah, the copper. I ah, early game mining. If you want the copper, maybe for a build or a spyglass, something like that, go ahead and take it. But for now, today, I personally am going to pass it up. I don't really need it yet. So back on our expedition here, originally I was trying to travel all just inside of the water here, try and like, you know, conserve the food, conserve the hunger and everything, but things are starting to look a little bit more hilly over here, and to find our true target biome for today, I think we're gonna probably need to follow the hills. Usually, nowadays, Minecraft terrain kind of hints at what's next. If you find a savanna, it could lead to a desert. If you find a hill, you never know, it could maybe lead to a mountain, which is... I guess this is kind of a mountain. It's a meadow biome. Ah, that's cool. 
All right, side note, we're going to definitely talk more about exploration a little bit later on, but look at this view right here. This is like the most peaceful view in the game. We got a big mountain over there, a small forest, the birch forest, a little disgusting, the dark oak forest, new wood type right there, and then the taiga over there. Like, this is just so serene. It's so beautiful. It's so simple. It almost makes me want to make a base over here, but absolutely not making a base in the meadow long term. No, 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 no way. Anyways, I, I think our next goal is going to be over that way. It looks like the mountains and the hills continue. And speaking of mountains, and speaking of mountains, beautifully amazing tall mountains. Do you see what I see over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get a vantage point. Do you see what I'm seeing right over there? Oh, <laughs> beautiful. The tallest mountain in the entire land. Look at how tall that thing is. That, my friends, is exactly what we're looking for for, for today. Inside of Minecraft 1.20, mountains are great for not one, but two reasons. Reason number one, the iron. We're gonna find so much iron here, I guarantee it. Especially if we can hit like a small cave up at the top of the mountain, or just a big patch of stone like I'm seeing right over there. That's gonna be great. Reason number two, we're gonna have to get a little bit lucky here. Luckier than we are right now. And oh, 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 wow. If I'm looking for diamonds, I know where to come back to later. Oh, look at that thing. That thing looks deep. I feel like I can see deep slate down there. Oh, boy. That's a, that's a cave. That's a deep cave. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The mountain is very, very exciting. But before we move on to the mountain, it might be a smart idea to look around this forest for a couple cows. We're going to need something before we venture into the mountain. Before we head up into that mountain and get ourselves into a potentially unfortunate situation, a bad circumstance, we're going to try and take out a cow or two or three or four and hopefully find ourselves a little bit of leather. We're actually going to... Ah, dang it. Come on. You failed me. No. Believe it or not, I, I actually kind of can't believe I'm saying this here, but the very first piece of armor we're going to craft in this world... It's gonna be a pair of old trusty leather boots. Early game Minecraft, to find iron for your first set of iron tools, first iron armor, everything like that, you're gonna wanna go up to a mountain. By far, these tall mountains are gonna be one of the best spots to find iron in the entire game. However, you need to watch out for powder snow. I'm not really seeing any over here, but if I was, I could walk on it and sink. Unless I have leather boots on. If I have leather boots on that match those clean pair of pants, then I won't sink. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Right off the bat, what do we see? The very first thing at the top of the mountain. No, no, uh, not a single bit of powder snow. No, uh, well, actually, maybe powder snow down there. But iron, right off the bat, it proves my point. If you're looking for iron early game, look at this chart right here. This chart is undeniably 100% factual. This is the chart of ore generation inside of Minecraft 1.18 and up, including 1.20. Ores, nowadays, they generate it in different spots that they used to. If you're just now coming back to Minecraft after years, the best spot to find iron, also the better spots to find coal, is also going to be higher up. For both iron and coal, it's actually way easier to go up into a mountain for this stuff than it is to try and go into a cave and watch out for skeletons and creepers. Now, my one small patch of iron is depleted over there, so we will... <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> the one, the one, the one thing I, I give you is, yeah, you, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I, I broke it. I broke. Oh my gosh, I, I'm crying. Maybe I could be crying, perhaps, possibly. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's not iron. It's not two stacks of iron. Uh, we'll find more, though. <laughs> Instead, it's cherry. As the somber yet hopeful piano music echoes throughout the valley here, we need to watch out for big caves. The one thing about mining in a mountain here is you can find some pretty big drop-offs, but oh, oh my gosh, the cherry. I hear it calling my name. It needs me. I have to save it. I never got around to saying it. I was too busy talking about other things, but one of the other things I wanted to look for today, the sweet berries and cherries. It was going to rhyme. I was going to do a whole little bit. It was going to be great, but... Uh, they didn't even give me the opportunity to say that. I'm mad at you. Oh, cherry wood, sweet cherry wood, I'm mad at you. I'm livid. I'm so disgusted with you. I can't stand you at all. No, no, I can't. I can't. For that, I had to take the whole tree down. I'm sorry. And for that, I have to let the leaves decay, too. And, and for that, I also need to pick up the pink petals. It's revenge all over the place. I, I'm not that guy, really, really. I'm not. But maybe I am. If you get me mad enough, I'm that guy. Add moonrise romantically inside of the most romantic biome, I think it's decided. 
Episode number three. Oh, my God. <laughs> episode number three is the best episode of the series so far. Oh, it's great. And you know what, actually, check this view out right here. We got this big mountain in the background, like forests all over right here. Could clear this out, build like a base in the bowl right there. And then you have like more mountains in the background. Cherry too. Maybe this is potential base location. What do you think? I mean, look, we'll keep it in mind for a little bit later on. We'll come back to it maybe for sure. But wow, what a find. And cherry sapling, I got you too. Now, cherry sapling tree drop rate is actually, like, pretty good. I don't think we need, like, sacks and sacks, but if I could have, like, maybe... No, yeah, I, I think, like, five. If I could leave this area with, like, five cherry saplings, I would be comfortable. I feel like I could regrow them back at home, and if not, I mean, I guess it wasn't that far. I could always come back. And just like that, never mind. Six saplings? Yeah, this is easy. Seven, eight. <laughs> they dropped so many saplings. That's great. With a ton of cherry saplings in hand, it was now back over to the mountains for me. You see, we have a goal of a whole lot of iron, and right now, I've got some iron. I need a lot more. With the secret of the most iron generating high up in a mountain exposed fully to you, my plan is to now hunker down a little bit, walk around, and find as much iron as I can. Hopefully, I'm able to pull about two stacks of iron off of this mountain. When it comes to coal, I'm uh, looking pretty good right now, but technically speaking, I do need a little bit more coal too. So, without further ado, it's time for that sweet sound. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Beautiful time lapse. Yes, beautiful. But, uh, well, 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 look at that. A little bit of emerald high up, too. I wish I had silk touch, but I, I just don't. Mm, I hate to leave it here for now, but I think I'm going to have to leave it here for now. <laughs> ah. Hey, hold up, hold up. One more time. Look at this. The powder snow. Exactly what I was talking about. With these leather boots on it, I glide right across it. And I get an advancement too. Oh, it's clean. No one mining in a mountain. If you find a big cavern like this, you go into it if you want. But you gotta be careful. The bigger caverns, they might cut all the way down to the deep part of the world. But they also are more likely to have mobs inside of them. So, hey, dripstone too. Ah, so anyways, so be careful. <laughs> It's a time jump. A little bit of time later, and I'm off of the mountain. I'm slowly starting to make my way back towards what I think is home. On the first mountain, I got a little bit of iron. On the second mountain, admittedly, I had a harder time finding iron. You see, you see, there is one more thing that I kind of skipped over. And that is, unfortunately, if you're doing the mountain method for mining early game, I ideally, you want to find the Stony Peaks Mountain. Or, in other words, the mountain that is, like, by the savanna, usually. You see, depending on how big and tall your Stony Peaks mountain is, this biome goes hard here. Because it's all stone, there's going to be even more ore generated. All exposed to the surface. It's actually pretty crazy. But look, I'm no quitter. We don't give up quite yet here. I got a Stony Peaks biome. I'm going to check this place, and we will find at least a little bit more iron. For the coal here, I've gone above and beyond. Way over two stacks. For the iron, including the stuff that we found on the shipwreck, we have almost a stack here. It's not two stacks, but if I could head back home with one stack, I'll at least be happy. And so with that final smaller time lapse done and dusted, we've just about finished the job today. If you're looking to do a little bit of mining early game and make it way easier before heading into the caves, head up high to the mountains. Who knows? And looking for a mountain, you might find the most beautiful spot for your base, but also you're going to get ore pretty easy. The biomes that you should be looking for are Stony Shore, Shattered Savannah, or a mountain biome. Or, zaboom, for short. Good luck. And so, just like that, back at home sweet home, nice and safe, we got 50 iron plus the 10 iron right there, carry the invisible 4 that definitely exists, and we did it! 64 iron, and oh, so much gold too! 
In fact, I think we did so exceedingly well that it, it's already time for another brand new chest. We got building supplies right over there. But oh boy, right next to building supplies, we got something we're going to fill out even more very, very soon. We got iron. We got coal. And we even got a little bit of beautiful emerald soup. We got this really cool buried treasure map we'll talk more about later. And this bottle of enchanting too. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am that I've already found the cherry biome. We can actually start using the new 1.20 things. Like, these flowers are so amazing. 100% you're going to see more of those. And absolutely, you're going to see even more cherry wood stuff too soon. Oh, this is great. We'll plant this sugar cane a little bit more. And now let's take a look at the comments of the day. Waddles during tour of last guide. I love the starter house. It's a little too small. Waddles in this guide. Make smaller house. Yes, so that's actually kind of a really funny point here. Of course, I've only realized our little humble house here is probably the most humble starter house I've ever built, but I kind of wanted to set the vibe nice and nice and simple. Like what I'm thinking here with this smaller build is anytime we want to expand a little bit, like maybe more storage or maybe smeltery or maybe enchanting, we might have to like fill this area out a little bit more with some more buildings, which I think will be really cool to see. Also, I was really trying to get that early game Minecraft vibe with this house, and I don't know. I, at least me, I picture early game Minecraft. Maybe I'm biased, but like this is basically what I picture here. Final side note of the day, I guarantee you, if we went that way, we would have had all of our iron even more. <laughs> Anyways, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. The patrons get early access to the episodes. Check the link down below. And next up, check out this one. It's been me, Waddleson. This has been great. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.